How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Prime Energon. Today I'm just going to quickly go on over how I painted my Rise of the Beast Voyager class Optimus Prime. And uh, pretty simple to do with some basic paints and uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. So here are all the modifications that I did to the Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. Pretty much a lot of gunmetal on the legs and on the torso area. Uh, some silver to go over the already silver for the uh, front visor up here, uh, which was not painted around the edges. So I just went ahead and went around to the edges because this is all clear plastic. And just to cover those up and the side view mirrors as well, painted around the edges as well. And then just went on over the already silver well, I guess this was um, a plastic, the gray plastic, as we all know, everything was pretty much this gray plastic on this figure. So I went over that with silver too, and the legs, I went ahead and painted gunmetal as well, tried to get in between here as well without having to take too much apart, but I did take the legs apart to get to this centerpiece right here to paint that gunmetal and I will show you how to do that in a little bit as well and uh, pretty much painted the inside of the legs with some red right here for the hoses and some more silver just to give it a little bit more pop and a little bit more detail on there uh, did some silver right here for the torso for these piston like tubes and up here and this piece was also a gray so I went ahead and did that a red that way in truck mode it actually looks a little bit better and then I did some silver up here for the top of the shoulders as well because that's how it looked on the box art and so far everything's holding up pretty well for the arms I went ahead and painted the actual um, bicep and in here as well which obviously you have to take apart these two screws to get to all of these little areas right here. The arms actually are on mushroom pegs, so they are easy to come off to get everything else. And the hands I went ahead and took off as well and painted these gunmetal on there as well. As far as everything else goes, I did not paint anything else. As far as the uh, wheels, I did paint the uh, pins for the wheels black since they were silver. I did not do anything for the uh, back piece over here. Uh, the back of the legs I did paint with the gunmetal as well as you can see right there just to make everything a little bit more uniform. The gas cans gave it a little bit of a brushed uh, look with that silver paint. Painted the butt over here and the crotch area with some more gunmetal. And this part right here in the center was just painted black which was for some reason just a square black on there which I went over with the gunmetal. As you can see right here in the crotch area, did all of that as well. I threw a little bit more paint right here on the forearms with that silver on those little pipes and just a little dab of black right there. Didn't use black a lot on here. Uh, these side panels for truck mode, I did not paint. I went ahead and kept those the original color. And as far as the chest area goes, if you were to pop off uh, these panels for the chest area I did paint the inside just to give it a little bit more detail as you can see right there that way you see that gunmetal through the glass on the chest area so that was pretty easy to do just pop off these panels not very hard and then just snap them back into place just like so I did do a little bit of black on the windshield wipers as well and then when we get into truck mode, I will show that I did uh, touch up the truck mode just a tad on this guy. So not too much when it comes down to actual painting him. Actually did pretty well. I did not do anything to the weapon. Uh, the weapon is still just the glossy black plastic on there. As you can see for the forearms, I did add a little bit of silver to that disc right there. Just to touch it up a little bit. Did not do anything for the inner part of the arms, the little side skirts right here, also painted as well. Did not really go into much detail on the inside of the torso area, just on the facial side. Some silver right here on these uh, little lights right there. And for the yellow, pretty much just some vinyl tape to uh, point that yellow. 
and just to give it a little bit more pop for those little lights right there. And as far as everything else goes, the feet added a little bit more of a brushing for the gunmetal for the actual feet and just went across the top right there. Did not do anything for the actual blue. And for the little toe spikes sticking out, I did go over those. And since this is a transformation and this does show during transformation, I did not go into too much detail on painting the inside of the feet or the bottom of the feet, just around the edges, just to give it a clean look. Since this is visible during transformation, I did not want to go too far on that. A little bit more silver right here for this little disc area on the legs. And then over here again with that little silver uh, piece right there. And that's pretty much it for the painting of this guy. Did not do much, but I think I did enough. And everything seems to be holding up pretty well as far as transformation goes. I did not do anything to the head sculpt. The head sculpt is completely original, no paint whatsoever. I did not do anything for the inside right here. Since it does show the lights being a, a little bit of a yellow or an orange, I did not touch that. On there for the wings, I did cut these off. As you all know, these did stick out quite a bit, and I think, in my opinion, it does look a lot better shaving these off, especially in truck mode and in robot mode. They just don't pop out as much on the sides. And that's pretty much it. Went across over here to the edges with some more red on these pegs. Of course, those might get taken off during transformation, as you can see right there. So not really a big deal. And that's pretty much it for what I did on the legs now the legs can come apart and uh let's go ahead and show you guys how i did that so you're pretty much going to take out these two screws right here so there's one screw and then go on over here and as far as the paint goes it has held up pretty well and then you're pretty much going to just snap these off just like so and now you could get on the inside if you want to paint any more stuff. And then for the leg area, this will just come out just like so. And then now you could paint this a lot nicer and a lot more detailed with this piece right here and not really go on over to the edge too much for the actual uh, shins. And then for the back part during transformation, I did add a little bit of red for that tail light. And then once you're done, you're pretty much just going to snap everything back in just like so. And then put this piece back on here as well. And pretty simplistic, pretty easy. There's not too much when it comes down to removing any pieces as far as the arms go. Same thing, just remove these two screws and you are able to remove the bicep and this little connection and the actual hand since they are on ball joints. You can remove those as well. And then when you're done with it, just go ahead and just go ahead and screw everything back together. I did not do any of these tabs. As you can see that little gray tab right there, just because during transformation that will probably come off during transformation. And uh, I did not want to do too much on this guy to where you transform it. And then everything just sort of comes off when you transform it. All the paint just chips away and everything but i think he looks fantastic now that he is completely finished with all of this gunmetal he looks 10 times better than he did before as you can see a little bit more detail that i had to get in there i did not want to remove the pins for the actual wheels which they are on pins and they are actually not screwed in there or mushroom pegged on there they're actually attached to the uh leg part right there and uh, yeah, pretty simplistic when it comes down to painting this guy. And the paints that I pretty much used are going to be for the gunmetal, which is a pretty much an auto paint. And this one you could find off of Amazon. Uh, you could get any, pretty much any gunmetal paint. It's just this one I had already. It's um, a gunmetal uh, KAD right there. It's about 18 or 19 dollars and this is a car paint so it's a little bit more durable than your actual acrylic paint it also comes with a clear coat on the end if you want to add that extra shine on there to give it a clear coat and this is the tip right here pretty simplistic and in order to get through all the cracks you're pretty much just going to just uh 
dab this on the actual figure and then spread it around with an actual uh, fine uh, paintbrush on there just to get in between all the crevices and everything. And then for the silver, pretty much painters right here. This is an acrylic uh, paint and this does come in a pack so you are able to get like a silver, a red, a black. I didn't really use too much blue or black on here. Mainly the silver and the and some red as well. But it was mainly just the silver and you are able to get these anywhere say like Walmart, Hobby Lobby and things like that. Pretty simple acrylic and these seem to hold up pretty well on on this figure. Hardly any scratching off or anything has occurred over here on the top. Of course, if you were to dig your nail in there, you will scratch it off. Obviously, as any other paint would have, you know, you will scratch also in the paint. But the gunmetal is actually holding up pretty well on here when it comes down to that. So no issues whatsoever. And I don't plan on transforming this guy too much anyways. He's just pretty much going to be displayed like this. So let's go ahead and take a look on how he looks in truck mode, shall we? And Boom, here he is in truck mode. Let's go ahead and flip up the uh, gas cans. Did forget to do that right there. Just go ahead and snap those up. And here we go for our truck mode. As you can see, looks a lot better with these fins uh, cut off in truck mode. And as you can see, the gun metal over here, since you can see the top of the actual, or the bottom of the feet up top, uh, this is how it's going to look. Uh, when that is transformed and everything is done So I did not want to mess around with this too much and here is the back with those tail lights painted red as you can see right there And then as far as the rims, I did paint these pins black So they do look a little bit better with that all black right there And then as you can see the gunmetal going around the sides for the front I did touch up this grill a little bit with some silver paint you can see right there that little metallic shine for the front bull bar and for the sides right here again with that touch up on the actual side view mirrors didn't make it go around towards the edge and then the paint right here along the side and of course up top right here with these shoulder pieces looking a lot better when it comes down to that i did touch up a little bit of silver paint over here for these lights and that's pretty much it when it comes down to truck mode. So I think he looks a lot better. And as you can see, this front chest piece right here, I did paint that red just to blend in a little bit better to truck mode. That way it looks a little bit more uniform. I did not touch up this gray plastic over here with any more paint just because I did not want to have that chip off since this part does tend to fold up in on itself. I did not want any of that chipping off. I did not touch the headlights or the, the lights on here kept everything pretty original on there and yeah I think he came out pretty well when it comes down to that I did not paint this back part I went ahead and just kept it as is and that's pretty much it here how he, how he looks at the bottom a lot of that gunmetal paint showing through so actually looks pretty good a lot of damage uh, made it look a little bit more scratched off and damaged when it comes down to this gunmetal just to show a little bit of battle damage to where it's not an actual perfect paint job but actually like you can see right here i did not touch up these steps for the truck mode and yeah i think it came out pretty good pretty easy to do if you want to paint your transformers uh, it's not that hard if you're able to uh, use a screwdriver and take a couple of things apart it's really not that difficult to paint these guys and i think he just looks phenomenal now he looked phenomenal to begin with just a lack of paint and now he just looks the part. As you can see, the windshield wipers are actually black now. They were just red. So this figure was amazing to begin with. They just not, they, they slacked off on the paint a lot for this guy, a lot of gray plastic. I did not touch any of this just because they are flat pieces and I did not want to have the paint come off. So I did not touch any of that up. And overall, I think he came out really, really good. And as far as weapon storage, you're just gonna go ahead and Put the uh, blaster on the back just like so. And there you go, Optimus Prime Voyager class, Rise of the Beasts in truck mode and custom 
paint it looks really good so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful somebody was trying to ask for a tutorial and hopefully i was able to do that i do phone tutorials all the time so i don't know why i was tripping out about trying to do a transformer tutorial but uh hopefully you guys enjoyed and found it useful and touch up your transformers it's fun it's like a little art project and it's fun to do so thank you guys for watching prime energon and i will see you next time peace